Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Riata Horsemanship. I'm Luke Brown. I'm very excited to be with you here today. And uh, today is Thankful Thursday. And for Thankful Thursday, I have something really, really special to talk about. But before I do that, I'm going to tell you about the horse I'm riding right now. Her name is Sandy. So this is literally Sandy's first time outside of the arena. Literally her first time. This, this is the first time she's ever been outside the arena. This is only the end of her, the third week of her training. There goes a car right there. This is only the third week, the end of the third week of her training. Uh, she's, she's just coming along very well. I'm very pleased with her and, and excited to see where she goes. She's a barrel racing prospect and she's gonna be headed headed to, to continue training and get and, and become a barrel racing horse. And so we'll see how she does. She's got a, a great, she has great composure or a great composition, body composition for a barrel racing horse and, uh, and structure. And I look forward to her uh, seeing her career develop. And it's been fun to get, to be able to be the one to start her. And, and I'm excited today to talk about Thankful Thursday and what I'm really thankful for. And I want to tell you, you know, last Sunday was, was Father's Day. And uh, as I contemplate this week, how important my father is to me and how important my grandfather, my great grandfather, and, and all of my great grandfathers and, grandf and grandfathers uh, were to me and my father today. I wanna to talk about my father, my dad. I call him dad and he is just an incredible person. He has, he's been a state representative up in Colorado a couple of times. He's been a county commissioner. He's been on the school board. He was basically on the school board during my junior high and high school years. And, um, and he's, been, he's very, very involved in local, county, and state government, and, and also um, national organizations like the American Sheep Industries, the American Cattlemen's Association, and, and many other organizations where he just tirelessly works to promote agriculture and to promote freedom, um, freedom that, that this country was founded on. And I, I sure, I appreciate and love him very much. He's been an incredible example to me. You know, when I was growing up, he always made it a point. We raised sheep and we were mostly sheep, sheep and cattle. We, I grew up on a sheep and cattle ranch. I'm gonna turn her around, send her back down this road for a second while I can finish what I'm saying. But uh, we, we, I was raised on a sheep and cattle ranch and they still run a sheep and cattle ranch today. And I, if I hope I'm not getting this right or uh, wrong, but I think he's 67 years old. So he's 67 years old and he does more today than, than he ever has. And, and just his, his, the endurance that he shows and the, the energy that he brings to any situation and to the ranch and the vision that he has is just awe-inspiring. And when I was young and going to school, I participated in a lot of sports and there wasn't a game that he, that he missed. He would make it a point to make sure he came to every single one of my basketball games, my track meets, and any other events that, that me and my brothers were participated in. So I just want to say I'm so thankful for my dad. I'm thankful for the love and support that he gives me. I couldn't be more blessed to have a father like that. And I hope I uh, hope I can live my life in honor of him and 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 do the best I can to be a, a good dad like he is. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you have a wonderful Thursday. Until next time, stay safe in the saddle.